name is Shamim Momin. I'm the director and curator at LAND, Los Angeles Nomadic Division. We're a public arts initiative based in LA that commissions site-specific projects with contemporary artists in the public realm. The Manifest Destiny Billboard Project is an unprecedented, never-before-executed cross-country exhibition, a thematic show across time, almost two years, and space, nearly 3,000 miles. The easiest way to think about it is in tens. It runs across the entirety of Interstate 10 from Jacksonville, Florida to Los Angeles, California. There are 10 artists that I and my co-curator Zoe Crocher, the artist that initiated the concept with land, invited. Each of these 10 artists create 10 billboards for their location or chapter, called that as they unfold consecutively across the country like chapters in a book. We're planning a grand finale in June 2015 in Los Angeles, a celebratory weekend that will bring together all of the artists after the final chapter has opened for a nonstop weekend of programming, events, panels, installations, screenings, and of course some fabulous parties to culminate this two-year journey and all of the ideas and excitement that is built throughout it. The artists at the exhibition have some really exciting programming scheduled for the culminating weekend in Los Angeles in June. For example, there'll be a ribbon cutting ceremony at the beach in Santa Monica to mark the close of the exhibition. There'll be a citywide scavenger hunt visiting lots of different historical sites all throughout LA that inspired various billboard projects of the artists throughout the exhibition. There'll be panels, there'll be screenings of movies about Manifest Destiny, there'll be screenings of new video works by the artists that stemmed out of their billboard projects, and many more programs that we're really excited to share with you. The project came out of this idea about um, wondering how to take the billboard and to push it further and to think about how the billboard exists in terms of a site-specific context. A lot of my work is caught up with this idea of going west um, and about the disconnect between the fantasy of something and the reality of something. When I was invited to create a chapter for the Manifest Destiny project, I immediately thought of the beginning of the 10 um, of Jacksonville, Florida as my site. I'm interested in the beginnings of things, the birth of an idea when it's at its most idealistic. And the area around Jacksonville is the longest surviving Western settlement in the New World. So I chose Alabama, and I remember when I was a kid visiting Mobile, there weren't very many Latinos in that part of the country. But as of recently, you know, over the past 20 years, a lot more uh, Latinos and specifically Mexicans and Mexican-Americans have moved to that region. The audience would have been a lot of people that are familiar with our look at art and then maybe people that don't land figured out all the logistical things and made the libraries happen in gas stations, which was kind of a dream come true for me, actually. I'm very excited to be a part of Land's Manifest Destiny billboard project because there's never been a national effort of this scale and magnitude that has addressed the extremely complex nature of our expansion west. And having so many talented and brilliant people working together on it has been a very unique synthesis. For the culminating weekend, I'd like to create a video travelogue that tracks the transit from my chapter in Tucson to the end of the road in Los Angeles. By using a combination of shot footage and appropriated images to get at what manifest destiny might mean through culture, the internet, and the highway. On behalf of all of us at LAND, thank you so much for taking the time to check out our Kickstarter and supporting the project. It's a major endeavor. This is two years in the making, and it really can't happen without your support. So please take a second, help us make this happen, and we can't wait to see you all in June.